everybody and welcome to another episode of the Deathcraft server. My name is Brink and today we got some things to cover. We just updated to the new version 1.1.0 for what is recent for us. Don't know if you're watching us from the future, but that is the most recent version for us at the moment. Some things have changed. The elevators now cannot go through blocks to the next elevator. There can't be anything between elevators. So I had to mount an elevator up here in the ceiling. It's hardly noticeable. I mean, you'd have to look straight up to see it. So I have to go in through the wiring area, which actually works out fine. Because whenever I need to get in here, I have easy access. By the way, I got to fix that. I forgot to put a schist stone here. But let's head up. We got some stuff to do and I want to get right to it. I also had to put another block here at this mid level before getting up to the top level. Now, uh, let's get to work. What I want to do first is you'll see in, from the last two episodes that I was able to make bedrock dust and get permanent flight, creative flight from getting the genes from a fly and using advanced genetics to syringe myself with flying ability. So what we're going to do is take some of the bedrock that I found and we're going to Let's see if I can make a pattern for it, actually. Uh, a bedrock pick is what I want to make first. That's this guy. We're going to need... Well, let's make a pattern for it. Easy enough. Stick that in here. And my haste is not working yet. There's a lot of things that have pink on them. I guess they're missing certain ingredients. Because with the new update, I think we... Um, we got rid of some mods and added some new mods, so we don't have access to some of these things. Um, and I don't know if some of them are not craftable anymore. I, I see that some of them are pink. I don't know if they'll work or not. But, uh, I do know that I need steel. Let's just try to craft it and see if it'll take. I made the craft or the pattern for the sword, but I'm not going to make the sword just yet. I want to... See if I can preserve the stuff that I have so far. So we need some bedrock ingots. And for that, I will not be able to use the um, the Mac. I will have to make a pattern for how to make uh, bedrock ingots. So let's take a few of these. And we'll have to create one bedrock ingot ourselves. All right, and we're back, and that saves you a lot of trouble to have to watch through a long two-minute process. Now, it's long for us now because we're used to it being so fast, but uh, that is the, the normal time it takes. <laughs> so it's one, two, three, four, and one HSL to encode. I think this is the way to do it in um, induction furnace or induction smelter. So we'll put it on this one. And let's see if that'll work. It should be requesting the new items. Let's see if we can stick these guys in here. Don't need these right now. And hopefully they'll be able to make it. Now, let's head back here and see if it sent the command to make it. Uh, the, okay, these are not set. So blue would be in. I don't want it to go anywhere. So it did work. Great. Now it's making three ingots for a pickaxe, which is perfect. Three times four is twelve. Alright, it turns out that the import bus is not working for some reason. I do have an import bus back there, uh, back here. And I uh, checked it out. I went under and around to see it. And it seems to be, an it is an import bus. There's no doubt about it. I set this to various connectors and none of them moved the ingots from here over to the ME. So I'll have to check that out at another time. Uh, right now, let's apply it. And this should be done. Yes, it is done. And let's go pick up our pickaxe. All right, I'm back. The reason why I needed the pick especially is because that bedrock pick comes with a, an, an enchantment, Silk Touch, which is very beneficial. Um, the next things I want to do Put this cursed earth away. I don't need it. Uh, the, we're not going to be making a mob trap in the nether, I don't think. 
because we can't spawn any ghasts. The only special creatures that I saw were the the orange creepers, the big king spiders. Uh, but all of that we can reproduce with a reusable safari net and bring it back and just make it with our MFR. Uh, we can make those creatures if we need them. I don't think we will need them. I don't see any special need to do them. But um, we have the other creatures that we need, like the creeper, we can get gunpowder from. So we don't need that special orange creeper there. Uh, so we'll put that um, cursed earth back. And I want to head down, and this is what I'm planning for today. Now, I'll go one level, actually. Get my night potion, and head back up again. I'm going to put some of this night potion around, and we're probably going to light this area up, because I'm going to redesign all of this. I'm going to tear it all apart. Now that we have our silk touch bedrock, we can take apart those cages without damaging them. And just store them away because we're going to be using cursed earth instead. Well, as you can see, I have my bedrock armor. I got a pickaxe and a sword. And violent tadpole just left. Didn't realize it was on. Sorry about that. I went AFK for a little while. Uh, well, as you can see, I've done the room. I've covered ceiling and floor. We are right below the smeltery. And I won't be able to go down, like I said, the elevators don't work between floors. So now i got to move this elevator onto this floor. As you can see, I've t taken uh, two blocks down. A little bit more space for us to work with. So what I want to do is uh, make maybe a template. And then I can cut away, but I just want to show you what I'm going to be doing. I'll just take couple of these things with me um, I think I'm gonna go with purple for the back and actually I can do a lot of this right now not a whole lot but at least a template part of it all right so we'll go like this and that'll send this way so we're actually occupying more um, important space available one, two, three, four, five will be the the depth of it. Because we're looking this way into the mob farm or the mob trap. And so it'll be five deep as far as the dirt is concerned. Then here, it'll go up and it'll stop right there. Now this is where the grinder will be. Actually the grinder will be let's see if we can did i bring grinders out yes i did so you know what i'm thinking we can do is drop this down a little bit so that it'll be like this uh, we don't need that and we can do some dirt up in here. Three, four, five. The grinder will go here, like that. An elevator here, or a conveyor, I'm sorry, not an elevator. And here. So, hmm. We can actually occupy more space back here if I elevate even further up and do something like this. So it would be something like this, grinder in this direction, oops, and like that. So then our windows, hmm, I don't have any glass here, yes I do. Our windows can go up. Uh, but we need to cover this, and then our glass panes 
we'll go upward so that we can look inside and then our MFR our uh, mop farms or spawners will go up on the roof here controlled by a lever and this mob trap a lot of it will be taken from Etho's design in his uh, latest FTB series where he um, puts a redstone block above the MFR to turn it off and he switches the lever in order to turn it on it'll pull the sticky piston away pulling the redstone block away from the MFR so I like that design It's very simple and it works so we're gonna use it and I'm adding to that design by putting some uh, tainted dirt here and it'll be all along this end from from end to end there'll be grinders every fourth space because the grinder can kill everything within a five block area so that's one two three four five deep and then one including the center two three and then four five on the other side so it stops right here it can kill up to this point one two the next grinder three in the middle of the grinder four five and that's the end of it and then one two again grinder three four one two three and so there'll be grinders spaced about and just enough to kill all the mobs that will be in the center here and it can reach this far so everything gets killed and nothing can climb back up because the conveyors will be moving up anything that floats or flies will be pushed down because there'll be fans on the other side of the walls I haven't done that yet but I will bring you back when I've gotten some more done as you can see I got a little bit of a frame here and I left some grooves up here I left some space in the middle so that I can put the tainted or the what's it called the cursed earth in the middle it'll spread to the rest of this dirt so I don't have to waste all of it I'll probably put another line because I, I really don't have a whole lot I think I have just one stack and that'll be just enough to fill in two rows I was gonna do some pillars up on this corner but then I thought to myself, that'll waste some of this spawnable ground, some of the space. And I want to use every little inch to be able to spawn them. Because I'm going to have MFRs up here. The Mine Factory Reloaded Auto Spawners coming out from the top of this. I also want to put uh, lights. And so let's get started with that. Now the midpoint, as you can see, is right around here. So it's between these two grinders. And you'll also notice that these corners, the red lines are there and there. So this is a pretty even and symmetrical build right here. As symmetrical as you can get when you're working with double middles. But let's lay down, I guess we'll start with our sticky pistons. And we'll need redstone. So let's get started with that. Now what I want to do is four four MFRs, four auto spawners. I got four monsters or hostile mobs that I want to spawn and be able to collect and I think that the middle points is right around here. Let me slap this guy up here. Maybe somewhere around there. Let's mark it off with a redstone block. That might be a little bit too far. Because I need some space over here, and this is cutting it kind of tight. Let me move this up a little bit. Right here. And we'll get rid of this guy. Oops. Got rid of some of that opal. Alright, so the next one will go in between. And I guess what we can do is go in the middle of these two grinders. Maybe the middle block here. It would be right around here. Hopefully this is somewhat accurate. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I would like it to be symmetrical. OCD purposes. This, I think, works out. So we went one block away from this grinder, looks like. We'll go one block away from this one. 
So this will go right around here, I believe. Let's go up a little higher. And let's check that. That looks about right. And then it was the middle block here. Now, do we have another sticky piston? Or did I waste it somewhere? Hmm. Did I drop it? I wonder where it went. I don't see it in my inventory, but it may show up in a few minutes because these things have been happening where I do have it, but it's it just glitches and it doesn't show up somewhere. Strange stuff. All right, I'll have to make another sticky piston, but let's see if we can continue here. Now, boy, I'd really like that other sticky piston. Was it that it fell through somewhere on top of here? I don't see it. All right, we'll have to do that at another time. Um, let's go down with our MFRs. Now, we're going to need a space because the sticky piston is going to extend a little bit. So why don't we put any block down over here just to extend it a little bit. And then we'll put the MFRs under. Like that, and like that. And it auto-selects from my inventory which is great but we have that problem where we don't have one here so you know what i think i'm going to go upstairs and get a sticky piston but i can't believe it i knew i had four on me and i don't see where it went plus some extra stuff let's see if we can make a a quick one upstairs by the way you'll see a mess of dsus here because some of my DSUs have been collecting dirt, some extra ones, and so I'm consolidating or condensing them all into one DSU. This one is done. This one is still working. Okay, so it's pushing it into one DSU. All right, so we want a, another sticky piston. Let's craft another one. You see? There it is, and it appeared. <laughs> ah. You know what? Fix your game. Let's put it between these two blocks here. Between these two grinders, I should say. And then we're putting a block between it and an MFR under it. We'll get rid of the block. If we can climb up there. And there we are. We gotta get rid of these blocks. We gotta do the lights now. And the lights, I think I've bought enough. I haven't really counted it correctly, but it should be somewhere between the middle of these. I guess around here should be good. Like that. And like that. Now we'll just keep repeating this throughout. The wiring is going to be... Now this doesn't look too even. Did I count the spaces right here? Let me try here to see if it works. Uh, that looks a little bit more even. Let's see. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's no way to get it even here. So we have a little difference here. All right, so I'm just, just going to keep it here instead. Not worry about it too much. We'll go here and here. And the last ones. So it looks like I have two extras. And that's fine. I could use them for something else. Uh, the next thing is we need to fill in the ceilings, but I'm not going to bore you with that. But this is why I need to fill the ceilings. What I'm going to be doing off camera is wiring these from lamp to lamp. We'll go like that all the way down. Now this is not going to reach all the way down and across to the other side. So I have repeaters also. And the repeaters will amplify the signal. I do want one lever here. Now I know it might be a little bit more technically, um, I don't know, beneficial to separate the levers and put a lot of levers controlling each set of lights. But I'm doing it by preference here. I think I would like one lever. This is a personal preference. One lever for all these lamps instead of having separate levers. And the levers, or the lights, what they'll do is, 
they won't totally stop spawns because this is a little bit far from where the cursed earth will be. I think we'll get a light level of about seven or eight. Seven turns it on again, but eight just shuts it off at the mar marginally. Now, it won't totally shut it off, but it'll, it will slow down spawns. And the reason why we would want to do it is we'd turn on these lights when we want these spawners to activate a little bit more. Well, actually, I don't think these depend on light. I don't think it really matters. So these will turn on anyway. I guess the best reason to say that we need these lights is if we ever want to come inside and do any maintenance work, we can turn on the lights and be free to roam around and no spawns will spawn. Now, we don't have a danger of destroying the cursed earth with these lights because with the new update 1.1.0, which we are on right now, only sunlight will destroy the cursed earth, among other things like your shovel and uh, lava and water. But, um, but regular, regular artificial lights like these or torches will not destroy the cursed earth anymore. So let me do this wiring. It's going to take me a little while to do with all the repeaters and amplification. And then I'll bring you back. All right, as you can see, I've placed some glass here because I'm about to put the dirt down. And I don't want anything that spawns to be able to climb after me. I may instead go under while I'm building just for safety. And as you can see, I put a little bit of redstone. I'm sorry, red alloy wire instead of the redstone and a switch instead of the lever. I'm kind of preferring the lever. I don't like that the switch is so small for this application. The switch is great for other applications, but this looks like it's a little bit too small, so I may put the lever back. I'm not sure yet. Uh, let me break some of this open so that you can see that I've uh, gone with a different plan as far as the redstone. You don't need any repeaters with this. It'll extend, I think it's up to 60 blocks without any amplification. So it goes up to here. I really don't need this here. It doesn't do anything. So let's cover this back up. Give it a try. As you can see, it turns it off just fine, all of them. And this will slow down the rate. Now, it doesn't look very bright, but remember that this goes by the math of this of the game. And at this level is 9. So, yeah, it should turn off all spawns. I'm going to leave it on. Is it in the on position? Yes, it is. The reason why we can't see it so clearly is because my night vision from this crystal is on right now. Now, the only reusable safari net with a hostile mob that I have currently... It's a wither skeleton. I still got to get the other three hostile mobs that I want. And let's see. Next thing we need to do is the tesseracts. These will supply the mob essence and the energy. So I think we can set them right away. Um, actually, I'm not going to set them right now because I want to combine tree power with mob essence instead of this lava power with mob essence. I wanted to change this around a little bit. So I'll just plant these for now. Let's just place them. And then I'll do the programming at another time. That's for another episode. I think we can do the Cursed Earth now. I really don't see anything else we that I'm forgetting. I might be forgetting something. I'm not sure. Well, I don't think I have enough Cursed Earth for all of this. There's about 30 blocks here, times 3 is 90, and I have 64. So what I'm going to do instead is probably put one line in the middle, and then put the cursed earth on either side. Right there, this will give me some space to move around with. And hopefully they won't spawn, hopefully that light is bright enough where... It'll prevent spawns. Because a creeper blowing up near here would be devastating to the to these grinders. These grinders would blow up right away. Let's try to do this quickly. Oh, we got a spawn already, so there might be a creeper right behind me. 
Hopefully not. He's trying to get down. <laughs> they are super fast when they come out of those uh, that tainted dirt. It makes them buffed up with speed. So let's see if I can plant this here. And I think I'm done. Now they are spawning, which I wasn't expecting. Wasn't planning for that. Because I don't have any of the uh, other things ready. Baby zombie. And it's spreading pretty quick already. That's good. We got a creeper over there. Yeah, but none of these are set yet. I still have to power up the grinders also. And I'll be doing that from below. So, that I'll do, I guess, kind of slow. I'm not in a hurry to do it and make a mess out of it. But I do need some more glass. Let's get some more glass. That should be enough. There's one more glass just to make sure. All right. Oh, forgot the spiders. And there's going to be some tiny spiders that spawn in this biome. They can climb really high, but the problem with them is they blind you. They can cause blindness for, I think it's 10 seconds. Which isn't fun at all, especially with all these creepers hanging around. Let's see if we can get rid of some of this. And the last one. I haven't seen the tiny spawns yet. That's good. Alright, so what I plan to do with the power for the grinders is to power them from below. Just like this. And I'll have a special channel for them because they will be sending mob essence into this tank. I believe it's this one. Let's see. Mob essence. Yes. So from here, let's see. Get some tesseracts here. We're going to need more Tesseracts because there's a total of seven grinders that I have here. But again, I need to set the channels for them. That's going to take me a little while. And that's for another time. Don't want to bore you with that. You know how to set a, a channel on a Tesseract. So I think that's about it. So that's what we have so far, and it seems to be working just fine. Now, here's the other plan I didn't mention yet. You see between these two lights here, and between these two lights, I can add mob cages as well. Just one block under the ceiling, and floating in the air there, I can put my blaze spawner, um, zombies, skeletons, get extra bones, maybe a few skeletons. And slime beetles. I don't really need any of those because this this trap, the way it is right now, can produce all of that. Except for the slime beetles, but I have 20,000 slime balls already. I don't need any more. But I would like to place at least a blaze spawner cage up here. Maybe in the center. Front and center. That would be cool. Well, that's about it. I want to thank you for sticking with me. This was a long episode. And I guess we'll catch you next time.